So there has been a pretty major leak of Uber's internal documents. Uh, specifically, there was about 124 thousand documents spanning the period between 2014 and 2017 that have been leaked and they reveal well some pretty uh, shady uh, behavior from the company that really just took over all the taxi businesses and stuff globally or well uh, we should probably say you know ran them out of business uh, so uh, uber has also commented they have responded and they say they moved away from an era of confrontation to one of collaboration. Uh, so that's a that's a pretty funny, this is a pretty funny response, you know? It's like, hey, you know, listen, yeah, we know, you know, with the illegal stuff in the past, you know, we, we know our foundation is, you know, built illegally and stuff, but, you know, we're legal now, so it's fine, you know? G guys, come on. Come on, why, why would you bring this up? Come on, man, that's, 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 that's just not fair, right? Uh, so the documents show how they have been in contact with so many various different influential people around the world. You know, it it, it, it kind of paints a picture how they discreetly courted prime ministers, presidents, billionaires, oligarch, and me media barons. Um, to, you know, to influence laws and such things that, you know, allowed Uber to spread all over the world, take over the personal transportation uh, business so to speak so a lot of a lot of great stuff uh y you know we have uh, this thing here about a kill switch so allegedly uber used this kill switch now in normal computer science speak uh you would normally have a kill switch for let's say your servers for when i don't know the authorities are closing in and they're gonna get your data and you're obviously very illegal so you have a kill switch that just like securely wipes everything so you know Nobody can get access to your illegal information because, uh, you know, no face, no case. Uh, so, yeah, allegedly they used a kill switch to shut off the company's computer systems to prevent authorities from successfully investigating the company's business. You know, obviously, uh, you know, uh, a little bit of a, a shady, shady thing there. Uh, uh, there was also some documents detailing uh, violent attacks on drivers to further their agenda. Um, you know, definitely not sort of stuff you'd want to leak to the public. Then there's some stuff about the French president, of course, you know, and then uh, we have some of the former executives at Uber, uh, you know, basically saying in these messages and documents that, you know, they were obviously aware they were breaking laws. Uh, some executives, well, one, I guess it says here, were joking they have become uh, pirates. And, you know, the former head of global communications uh, reportedly stated sometimes we have problem because, well, we're just fucking illegal, <laughs> which is just, it's just one of the best statements I've read in, in, in a while. But yes, I mean, the important takeaway, I guess, is we have not and will not make excuses for our past behavior that's clearly not in line with our present values. So, yeah, guys, come on. Why are we bringing up the past? You know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter how, how we got here, you know, just... You know, the important thing is we are here and we're probably very legal now, you know, so there's no, uh, there's no need to go back, you know, because, uh, come on, come on, guys.